Hello everyone, it's week 11 of our CSA shares. It is an A week for our half share folks. Um, we have quite a good variety, at least a, a very colorful um, pickup this week. So I'm gonna go over what we got in our shares, how to store them, and ideas of what to use each item for, just like I usually do. Um, two quick announcements before I begin. We have on our Facebook group a flower art contest happening. The details of that were sent out in yesterday's email from Trisha, and they're also posted in the announcements on this Facebook group. So look at those details, all the um, information on what you need to do to enter that contest, and then make sure you put your entries in by Saturday at 7 p.m. So that's when the contest ends. The second announcement is that we have bulk plum tomatoes available for purchase. You can get five pound bags at the farm. Those are $12. And then we also have 25 pound boxes and the farm wants us to pre-order them. So there's a few, avail few extras available during the week um, that Trisha and Tom have set aside, but just so that they have an accurate count of who wants them, just send the farm an email letting them know how many boxes you want and when your pickup day is. So they're available, obviously we are done with pickup for today, um, but they're available for pickup on Thursday and also again next Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna talk about bulk uh, plum tomatoes and what to use them for and all of that kind of stuff and get some input from our community. Um, so we'll hold off on those, but for this week, we have lots of repeat items and then a few new items. So first off, we have our head lettuce. Our head lettuce we want to store unwashed in the fridge in a plastic bag. Wash it when you're ready to use it. If you do wash um, and then don't use it all, put dry paper towels or a dishcloth in so that absorb a dry dishcloth so that it absorbs the moisture. Um, this is probably one of the first items we want to use this week. So this won't last as long. I actually already used a little bit of it for burgers tonight. Um, great for salads, great for tacos, great for burgers. Um, we've got lots of great salad ingredients, so you can throw together a salad. These leaves are great for lettuce wraps as well. So lots of options there. We have our Cubanelle peppers. So these guys go in the crisper drawer. They can be eaten raw, they're, they're nice and sweet and tender. They can be grilled, they can be sauteed. Um, we have torpedo onions, so they can be sauteed with them. Um, they can be chopped up into a salsa. They can be frozen, so if you wanna preserve them, you can slice them up, put them on a um, cookie sheet, and then freeze those and throw them after they're frozen, take them off the cookie sheet and throw them into a Ziploc bag. If you're going to freeze them, then you definitely wanna be wanna use them in something that's cooked because they're not gonna keep that crisp texture after being frozen. Um, we enjoy these raw, so I will slice these up and just throw them out as a snack for the boys. So that's Cubanelle peppers stored in the fridge. We have lots of tomatoes this week. So we picked um, cherry tomatoes, those, um, there's a recipe from last week, the roasted tomato sauce. That's what I used these for. Um, we take them as snacks and eat them as snacks. I've been enjoying um, them on my salads as well. Um, they're just so sweet and tasty that you can um, do a lot of different things with them. These are stored on the counter. We don't wanna put tomatoes in the fridge. So our cherry tomatoes out of all of our tomatoes are probably our longest lasting ones. So if you can hold off using those, use our heirlooms first. So this is an heirloom. They're, they're kind of our funky shaped ones, different colors. This is also an heirloom. These guys we wanna store on the countertop as well, um, not in the fridge. As soon as we put tomatoes into the fridge, it changed their, their, changes their profile and um, the way they taste and their best at room temperature. Um, so these are gonna not, these are gonna be the ones that you wanna use first. Sliced on sandwiches, BLTs, Caprese salad, um, just enjoyed slices raw. 
You can also roast these. You can um, make sauces, so refer to the sauce recipe from last week, and there's also tons of other sauce recipes out there. You can freeze them, so if you roast them and then freeze them, or you can freeze them um, just as is and use them at another time. So those are our heirlooms. We also have our reds. So these are a little bit hardier than the heirlooms, but stored the same on the counter um, and used the same. So all of our tomatoes are countertop storage. And then I mentioned the torpedo onions. We got a bunch of two or three this week. The entire thing can be used um, if your top green part is still looking good, then you can use that just like you would a scallion. Um, otherwise, if it, like mine are a little bit floppy this week, um, I'll probably just toss them into my veggie broth um, freezer bags. But our torpedo onions are on cured. So we wanna store those in the fridge. Um, these are fantastic grilled, they're fantastic roasted. They were used in the um, sauce recipe from last week. Um, they're great raw, sliced really thin on salad. Um, they would go really well with the peppers that I mentioned. Um, also great in salsas and pico de gallos. Um, if you still have tomatillos from last week, we don't have them this week, but they would pair well in a um, salsa verde. All right, so we have cucumbers. Cucumbers wanna store in the crisper drawer of the fridge. These are great in a cucumber salad. You can use them for pickles, um, just sliced and used in like a dip, like a dill dip or hummus. Um, there's quick fridge pickles. Those are on the, um, that recipe is on the blog. Um, there's a cucumber salad on the blog. And there will be, I'm working on a recipe with cucumbers that will be coming over the next um, few weeks, I hope. So I'm gonna work on that this week. All right, we also have summer squash, different varieties. Um, these guys you want to store in the fridge in the crisper drawer. Um, these are great raw, they're great grilled. We love slicing them lengthwise and just throwing them on the grill, um, sprinkling a little bit of um, oil and salt and pepper and just keeping it simple. There will be a recipe coming for these guys either this week or next week. Um, I have a few recipes I'm working on, so I'm not sure the order of the recipes that will um, show up this, this week and the next few weeks. Um, these can be turned into noodles. So last week's recipe, I turned, um, these larger zucchinis into noodles. So that recipe is on the blog as well. Um, great in stir fries, great. There's a recipe for pickling them, um, pickled zucchini ribbons or pickled summer squash ribbons. So that's on the blog also. And then we have eggplant. So eggplant is um, a little bit more delicate than our summer squash. We wanna store it in the fridge but you typically wanna store it with some sort of um, towel around it so that moisture is absorbed. We don't want it to get mushy. Um, these, we've seen a lot of ratatouille recipes on the Facebook group. I like to use them in eggplant parm. These are a little bit harder since they're not, lar they're not as large, but if you cut them on an angle, you can get still get eggplant parm out of these. There's also, I think there's a dip, an eggplant dip, on the blog and there's eggplant toast is also on the blog um, so take if you're getting bored of what you normally do with your eggplant take a look at the blog and just type in eggplant in the search engine um, but that's stored in the fridge as well we have basil so it made our uh, appearance again basil is our one herb that stays out on the uh, countertop so we put it in a glass with water and keep it at room temperature. Do not put basil in the refrigerator. And basil is great for our caprese salads, um, just a tomato salad. You could do like a tomato and cucumber and basil salad with a little bit of garlic. Um, pestos, the sauce, um, you could throw basil in that. We will use basil in a couple of the up upcoming recipes as well. 
Okay, we have new potatoes. So this is a different variety, but because they're new potatoes, they're uncured. So typically we wanna keep these in the um, fridge. Lots of potato recipes on the blog. Um, you can also roast them, you can grill them, you can, um, there's a zucchini or a summer squash and sliced summer squash and potato recipe on the blog. There's smashed potatoes on the blog. Um, you can also just do mashed potatoes and things like that um, with some fresh herbs and garlic. So those are stored in the fridge. All right. We also have our ground cherries. So the ground cherries we pick are picked from the ground, not from the plant. Um, they look like the um, husks are kind of dried out, but we want them nice and golden on the inside. So lots and lots of ideas for these on the blog. Um, there's ground cherry puffs, there's a jam, there's a marinade, um, there's chocolate covered ground cherries. There's also tons of ideas on our Facebook group. So I know we've seen ground cherry muffins. Um, I think there was a ground cherry bread or tart, um, or maybe it was a ground cherry, I know you can do ground cherry pie and we do have enough this week to do ground cherry pie. Um, I'm blanking on the other thing that I'm thinking of. So these are great as dessert, um, but they're also great just to munch on the way they are. You can peel the husks. So we wanna store them just like this in the fridge, or if you peel them, you can peel them, wash them, and store them in a, a plastic bag in the fridge as well. These freeze really well. So we're getting a lot this week. If you're not going to use what you picked, peel the, the husks off, wash them, dry them, and then throw them in the freezer. And then they're great for baked goods or for your jams, your marmalades, or not marmalade, um, marinades. I, last week, I, we got a quart last week, I dehydrated them. Um, so all I did was peel them off, throw them in the dehydrator. That post is up on the Facebook group and they came out really good. So they're kind of like a, they, I think they're like a candy. They're nice and sweet. So that's another idea for you. Okay, a few new items this week. Um, we have shishito peppers. So the shishitos were you pick. These are fantastic grilled. They can be roasted. They can be um, sliced up. They can be kept whole. The entire thing is edible except for the stem. So basically we eat from here down, down like that way. Um, the seeds and everything inside is edible. My favorite way to eat these is blistered and Trisha went over that on the email from yesterday. So put some oil in your um, frying pan, get it nice and hot, throw these in, be patient. You can season with salt and pepper, but they're super tasty. The one note about shishitos is one in 10 of them is spicy. So generally they're a sweet pe pepper Every now and then you get one that's a little bit spicy. So it's kind of a fun game when we have them. Um, I always mention that and whoever gets the spicy one kind of wins for the night. And sometimes we don't have any that are spicy. Those get stored in the fridge in a plastic bag and they store really well. So that's something that you don't have to use right away, although they are tasty and you're going to want to. We also got jalapenos, so we have lots of tomatoes. If you still have cilantro from last week, um, we have the onion. If you still have garlic, we have the perfect fixings for salsa. Jalapenos um, stored in the fridge, just like all of our other peppers. If you wanna take away some of the heat, you're gonna take off, cut them in half, take out the seeds, take out the membranes, and then just leave the skin. So that's gonna be your least spicy way um, to enjoy them. If you want that heat, then keep them as is and just remove the top stem. There's a great recipe on the blog, and I'm not sure, two, we only got two this week, but these save. So if you wanna save these, um, there's a recipe on the blog for jalapeno honey, and it's one of my favorites. Um, I'm pretty sure I then 
talk about how to use that honey, which you infuse with the jalapenos in a margarita and then also in a dressing. And that's my favorite dressing recipe that I've ever made. And I make it often. Um, so it takes a little bit of time initially to make the jalapeno honey, but then once you have that honey, you, you can use it over and over again. Um, it doesn't take very much to make the dressing and to make the margaritas. So that's an option as well. Okay, three more items. We have spaghetti squash. Um, spaghetti squash is stored in a cool, dry place. There will be a recipe coming for this guy, um, but basically spaghetti squash is a low carb option, um, grain free, gluten free option for pasta. So you can roast it whole, roast or bake it whole. You can split it in half and roast it that way, or you can slice it into rings and roast or bake it that way. Um, but this will store. So, and we'll be getting a few of these over the next few weeks. So store it in a cool, dry place and you don't necessarily need to use it this week. We also had the option to either pick watermelon or cantaloupe. Um, watermelon, that gets stored directly into the fridge so it lasts um, long. The watermelon can be red, it can be like a yellowy orange color. We just used our watermelon from last week and it was delicious, super sweet and tasty. Um, and the kids are gonna munch on it tonight and then again tomorrow. This is the cantaloupe. So same idea, we're going to store this in the fridge, cut it up. Um, when you slice it down, put, cut out the, or scoop out the seeds and then slice it into either um, little chunks or you can slice it into slices that you can serve. This is really good as a breakfast side, as a snack in kids' lunches or your lunch. Um, I like it with, uh, cottage cheese or you could slice it up into tinier um, chunks and do like a parfait with yogurt and granola and cantaloupe. If you smell this, so if you smell the stem end, it should smell nice and sweet. Mine does, so mine's going right in the fridge. If it doesn't quite smell sweet enough yet, then you can leave it on the counter for a day or two and then put it in the fridge. Okay, if this gets cut at all, it definitely has to go in the fridge and you cover it with um, plastic wrap. Same thing with the watermelon. If you cut it and don't use it all, cover it with plastic wrap and then throw it into the um, refrigerator to keep it and obviously use it within the next few days. I think that's it. Um, there are lots of fun recipes coming soon, so stay tuned for those. I've definitely got a recipe featuring spaghetti squash and I also have a recipe featuring the summer squash and then the cucumbers. So three that I'm working on over the next few weeks um, that should be showcased. If there are any questions about storage, what to do with items, things you're not sure about, please post and we will answer. Make sure you remember if you're entering the flower art contest to do that by Saturday at 7 p.m. So we have all entries. And then um, if you wanna order bulk plum tomatoes, make sure you do that as well. So you can get the smaller bags right at the farm. The larger boxes you need to pre-order or they're requesting that we pre-order. There may be a few extras at the farm um, if you didn't pre-order yet. And we'll talk about those some more tomorrow. All right, thank you and I will see you guys all again next week.